Welcome everyone to the Major Arena Soccer League number two, where the RGV Barracudas FC take on Amarillo Bombers for the second consecutive day. Last night's game at 7 p.m., RGV Barracudas, the last team in the league to debut this season, won emphatically by 13 goals to four versus Amarillo Bombers. And here they, become, they begin their second game in succession against each other in RGV Sports Complex in Brownsville, Texas. Now, RGV, like we mentioned, won 13 goals to four last night to Amarillo Bombers. 
But before last night's game, Amari Amar Bombers came in to the matchup with three games played, two wins, one loss, 37 goals for, 30 goals against. But with that loss, have now played four games, two wins, two losses. And like we mentioned, RGV Barracudas debuting last night. So they are one game and one win. So we have the national anthem underway right now. And we have our starting lineups coming up for you shortly in only a couple of minutes. So in the center circle tonight, we have the away team, Amarillo Bombers. And like we mentioned, RGV Barracudas. The starting, line for the starting lineup for the Barracudas tonight. Number one, Diego Arriaga in goal. Number 13, Jose Martinez. Number 15, Eusebio Bazla Bazalova. Number six, Gustavo Rosales. Number 17, Antonio Segura. And the goal scorer himself, number 21, Ivan Martinez up top. For the home team, Ivan Martinez scoring the opening goal last night for the Barracudas for their season. Amario Bombers, number seven, Fredo Chavez in goal. Number 21, JJ Oteze, defender. Number nine, Abel Olivas, defender. Number 10, Vitor Patriani. He is the one who scored the opening goal last night for the Bombers. Number six, Miguel Reyes. And number 22, Julio Vargas is his starting, starting five. And with Chavez, number six, in tonight's starting lineup for the Amarillo Bombers, the visitors. So we welcome you all in Barracuda's FC Sports Complex in Brownsville, Texas. My name is Ryan Davis. We are so happy to present to you guys Major Arena Soccer League number two, live on Facebook. Again, RGV Barracuda's winning last night's matchup against the Bombers by 13 goals to four. Let's see if the Bombers can reverse that result and try to get a win on the road. Their record, 2-2 two and two as of last night. So RGV will be in the white strip and Amarillo have changed their strip from last night's black strip to a blue strip. And we're off. RGV going from left to right on your screen. Amarillo Bombers going from right to left. And here's RGV with possession now. Thank you. 
Actually, I take that back. In blue, it's going to be Barracudas going from right to left. And from left to right is going to be Amarillo Bombers. Excuse me. Here's Segura, number 17 for Barracudas. Going out wide to the left. Barracudas getting that first goal last night from Martinez in just a minute and a half. Here's the first pass. And it's into the box and the shots just over the post. Somehow it missed. Barracudas again almost opening the scoring at first. And there's the first whistle of the evening, and it goes to the home team. And Barracuda's now with a free kick in a dangerous spot. Here's the highlight again. Here's that lovely turn. And there was a tackle by the number nine. So Barracuda's with a free kick. We have Rosales, the captain. He tries a shot and he bends it just over the bar. And it's cleared away now by the Bombers. And they have a counter-attack. Goalkeeper Ariago comes out, kicks it long. No, he doesn't. Gets it short. High press. Great battling in the end by the Bombers. And look like they've won themselves a free kick. No, nope. Yes, they have. It's going to be number 11, Darren Mitchell, over there in the corner. And the referee did not like the contact. So it's going to be a free kick now for the Bombers. Off the wall. Cleared away. Bombers headed right back in. Into the mixer. And a shot by Mitchell. Here's the Bombers now. Sliding tackle. Looks like it was at Rosales, the captain. Played all the way back. Bit of miscommunication. Barracudas get it out. Look at the intensity by the Bombers right now, though. After that loss from last night, Bombers again, like we said, in white. Barracudas in blue. Trying to rectify that 13-4 thrashing. And the Bombers in white really are playing with a higher intensity right now. Barracudas retrieve. Martinez, nope. Ball played out wide to the right-hand side. And it's going to be the Barracudas who maintain possession. Looks like some early substitutions. Ball played out to the left-hand side. Great control. Knocks it back. Let's see number 26, Echavaria. Ariago, the goalkeeper, so good with the ball at his feet. Ariago again. Echavaria. It's going to be Jimenez playing it short. And here comes that shot, and it's high and wide. And the ball is literally now out of play. So it's going to be Bomber's possession. And the goalkeeper trying to organize his troops. It's going to be Chavez. Well, allowed 13 goals last night. He's going to try to forget every moment of that game. He throws it out long. Intercepted now. Great recovery in the end. Barracuda's possession. Lead all the way back. Seguro looking for the foul. No call from the referee. Ball goes out of play. Bomber's ball, the clock has stopped, and here comes a huge change as number nine checks back in for the Bombers. Played out wide. Here he is, the substitute, looking for some support. Hounded by the Barracudas. Ball played across, looking for the shot. Great slide tackle. It was number 22, Vargas, with the shot. And here comes the captain himself, Rosales. No foul by the referee. Ball against the wall right now. Nobody can possess. Here comes the Bombers with the shot. Good save by Ariago. Rosales calmly gets the ball out. Great skill, and looks like it's going to be a foul. No, no call from the referee. Play on. Barracuda ball. 
the captain, Rosales, playing it short. Number 15, Bazalova. Taking his time, Ariago, who's as good as any player on the field as a goalkeeper. Bazalova lining up the shot, kept it low and hard and just wide. And Chavez retreats, and he's looking to distribute. Goes long, gets it out. Vargas with the shot, and he snesses it into the top corner. Julio Vargas opens his scoring account tonight, and it's the visitors this time go up to a goal to nil against RGV. A long pass by Chavez, the number seven, the goalkeeper. Brought down by Vargas, number 22. A fantastic volley to give the away team the lead. There it is, the left-footed volley up into the top part of the roof. No chance for Ariago, and it's 1-0 Amarillo. Here's the kickoff. Ball goes all the way back. Ariago. Bazalova. Hounded down in the corner. Ariago now. Bazalova. Looking for options. Look at the defensive discipline by the Bombers. White shirts all over the blue shirts. Ariago with the shot, and it's low and hard. And looks like Chavez, and it's a goal. Ariago scores the equalizer. It came off the structure of the goal down in the bottom part of the net. And it is 1 1. Great shot by the goalkeeper. You cannot give him that sort of time. They backed off, and the goalkeeper, Ariago, did the rest. It hit the lower side of the structure and fell out. And only a matter of time, the referees concluded it was a goal. 1-1. One, one. So this game, 9 minutes 44 seconds left to go in the first quarter, and it's already 1-1. One, one. We've picked up where we left off last night with a 13-4 win for RGV, and we have two goals already in the opening minutes. Chavez tries to go long, out of play. Referee stop the clock. And it's going to be RGV possession. Played up the line. Seguro. Segura, rather. Dispossessed. Beautiful ball in. And here he comes again. Good save by Ariago and a lovely finish. The follow-up by Molina. And this game goes to 2-1. You cannot blink. It is so fast. As soon as we get the equalizer, Amarillo Bombers go back up on top through Tolio Molina with the follow-up. Dispossessed. The shot saved by Ariago and the follow-up by Molina. And it's 2-1. Amarillo Bombers. It's all happening here in Major Arena Soccer League, the MASL League 2. Exciting play. It is 2-1, and you cannot catch your breath here. Ariago goes long. Bazalova. Ariago, he had a shot from here. Would he try a second one? He does. Another great strike, but Chavez behind it this time. Chavez goes long. Looking for the original goal scorer, Vargas. Vargas now. Left footed shot. Blocked. Away. RGV, no counter attack. Bombers get possession. Vargas now. Waiting for some support, and he finds it. It's Lima. Lima, directing traffic, looking for options. Goes all the way back to Chavez. Chavez rolls it. Vargas with that deadly left foot, the back heel. 
Cannot afford to lose the ball here. Or else it's going to be a counter attack. Goes back to Chavez. Chavez going long. Up against the board now. The rebound. Vargas. Lima. Intercepted. Bazalova. And it's going to be a free kick. Let's see what the referee decides. As the captain Rosales comes back in. Yep, looks like Bazalova got too much contact. And Lima wins the free kick, in which Vargas, number 22, is very interested. Lima, Vargas, it's going to be Lima with the shots against the wall. Lima plays it back. But here comes the Barracudas now, trying to lob Chavez and just over the bar. And into Chavez's waiting hands. What excitement. It does not stop in MASL soccer. Ball out of play, and it's going to be Barracuda's ball. Boothborn, number eight, could not control it. He's in the top part of his screen. There he is. Played all the way across. Smart ball to Ariago. Ariago up the line. Hounded. Barracuda's maintained possession. The left-footed drive into the box. Well defended. Bombers. Looking to go long. It's Goulburn. Goes right across. Chavez under pressure. Finds Goulburn. And he goes down. The referee, no call from the referee. And here comes the Bombers. Barracuda's rather. Gets past one. Rolls it to the left. Great tackle in the end. The slide tackle. No call by the referee. Play on. Goulburn has options to his left. Finds him. The shot saved by Ariago. The follow-up is there. Goulburn with the shot. And it's... The call by the referee. Goulburn hand on his head. It does not count. Referee calls timeout. He rolls the ball to the left. Here's the replay. The shot saved by Ariago. And there's the high kick. Looks like the referee blew the whistle. And it's going to be a free kick now. And also some substitutions for the Barracudas. Time out call by the referee. As the players huddle. Amarillo Bombers trying to bounce back from last night's 13-4 to loss to the Barracudas. But they lead this one so far by two goals to one. Goes so far by Vargas and Tulio Molina for the Bombers. And then Diego Ariagas. Here's Vargas opening this, his scoring tonight with that left-footed thumping volley. Bombers sort of relieved some, some pressure on the visitors as his teammates appreciated that strike. And then Ariago with an emphatic equalizer down in the bottom corner made it 1-1. Celebrations as the goalkeeper gets on the scoring sheet. And then a counter-attack. And Tulio Molina started and finished the rebound to give the Bombers a worthy 2-1 lead so far in this first quarter. So what seemed to be a high kick called by the referee and a timeout taken is going to resume with Barracudas getting possession. Goalkeeper and goal scorer, Diego Ariago, is going to try to get a hold of this one. Played short. Ariago going long outside of the foot. Hounded in the center circle and one fairly. Here comes the Bombers again. Molina, the shot, and it's now 3-1. The assist goes to Molina. And looks like we're going to find out who the goal scorer is. Could it be Patriani, the number 10? 
Looks like it is. Molina, who scored the second, and he sets up the third. Beautiful finish. Ariago, no chance. But Vitor Patriani, who scored the opening goal last night for the Bombers, gets the third. And the Bombers now take a two-goal advantage. And the Barracudas have to be scratching their heads after such a big win last night. And now the Bombers seem to have changed their tactics. They're, they're winning the ball in midfield, counter-attacking with aggression and speed, and finishing their chances. Now here comes the Barracudas. Ball goes over the bar and seems to be out of play. Chavez waiting to get the ball back in his hands, and he does. Goes long. Great physicality. It's the number 20. Oh, slight tackle, and he's down, number nine. He's in pain. He went down for the tackle. He's the one that's slight tackle, but he got the worst of it in number nine for the Bombers. Here it is again. Sort of lunged at it. Looks like it got the inside part, just on the inside part of the shin. I'm not a doctor, but that's where the tibia is because I watch... A lot of soccer, a lot of soccer players have injuries in that area, just on the soft side of the shin, on the inside part. That's where the contact seemed to have been taken. And he seems to be in a lot of pain in number nine. The trainers are out there. And Maria Bombers so far have all of the momentum. They scored first. Diego Ariago, the goalkeeper, equalized to get it to 1 1. And then two consecutive goals. First scored by Molina, then set up by Molina. And here's the tackle again. Went down and seems to be in a very uncomfortable position. But he's finally back on his feet and limping off to the sidelines. Looks like it may be the, the captain as well. Jamie Carrillo is the one who went down. As we have Juan Martinez, the center forward who scored the first goal last night for the Barracudas. He's coming back in. And number 13, Jose Martinez, coming back into the game as well. Number three, Irvin Cortez for the Barracudas is in the game. He came in. And so is the captain in the near part of your screen, Rosales, Gustavo Rosales. He's on the ball right now. And it's a shot and it's high and wide by Laca Lima. And the referee retrieves and it's going to be Barracuda's possession. Ariago. Barracuda's trying to get some sort of foothold in this game, but giving away again. Out to the left hand side. Would he have a shot? Back into the center. Beautiful pass. A great save. It was number 11, Darren Mitchell, trying to get in and score, but great save in the end. Great, great defending by the Barracudas. Ball one on the right-hand side, looking for options. Has a shot off the wall. You follow up, and it's straight into Chavez's hands. As the Barracuda is trying to get back in this game, down three goals to one. And here they are again on this right-hand side. Goes down, referee calls it. And it's going to be a foul on number 22, Julio Vargas, the goal scorer. Use his hands to pull the player back. It was Rosales, captain. And it's going to be a free kick right on the line. The left footer has all of the angle. Yes, the left footer is going to take this free kick. Lining up a shot. Lays it off. Ball back into the middle. Who's going to have a shot? No shot as yet. 
Still looking for options. Bombers close down quickly. Here comes the shot. And it's off the post and the follow-up saved by Chavez. And it's in. Barracudas get their second goal. They were pressing. The ball hit, went past Chavez's goal a couple of times. And the rebound finally put away. We're going to find out who the goal scorer is shortly. But the Barracuda's back in the game. Top of the box. Came off of Chavez's left side of the goal. It came off again. And again, the follow-up. Looks like it's going to be Martinez. We will find out shortly. But Barracuda's back in this game at three goals to two. Only one goal now differentiates these two teams. As number eight, Goldborn plays it back. Chavez going long. Down into the corner. Uses the wall well. Goldborn heads it down. Goes out wide. Lovely turn. Here comes the Barracudas, but look at the defending by Lima. So quick. Goes out wide. High press. Patriani. And it's going to be a free kick. Referee did not like how Patriani came in. As we look at the goal scorer for this Barracudas team. It is now three goals to two. Barracudas had to come down from a goal behind to tie it up. And then two quick goals. Got the Bombers a 3-1 lead. And now it's 3-2 after Barracudas getting their second. Goes all the way back. Jimenez. Ariago. Ariago goes short. Jimenez now. Gets back on his right foot. Ariago has a great shot as we know. Has a shot and it goes wide. Still in play. Referee calls for the contact and it's going to be Bomber's ball. Played short here now. Great turn. It's Vargas. The big body of Vargas. Tries to use the wall. Body's going flying. Number 22 is down. And the referee says to get up. Rosales goes down. And looks like the referee calls the foul for the impediment on Rosales. I'm sure Vargas is not going to look like that. A lot of contact on Vargas. But then Rosales gets the ball. The captain goes down. And the referee calls the foul. So, three minutes, 18 seconds to go in the first quarter. The visitors taking a commanding 3-1 lead, and then Barracuda's getting one back just minutes ago to make it 3-2. Up the road it goes. Chavez, strong punch. Vargas using that big body. And here they are on the right-hand side. Uses the wall well. Ariago now. Here comes the Barracudas, a bit of a counter-attack. Great deflection. Seguro was coming up on the left-hand side. Oh, he gets past one, has a shot, hits in their post, and it's an own goal. Own goal. Oscar Garcia did all the damage on the left-hand side, took a shot, and looks like the defender, we're going to find out if it was the defender or the forward that scored it. But Oscar Garcia, the number 11, he beat one, had a shot here, and number 12 looks like it was Mears, Rich Mears, number 12, just couldn't get out of the way. And it's an own goal, and this game is tied up at three. RGV Barracudas claw their way back from a 3-1 deficit to tie this game up at 3-3. Patriani, goal scorer last night, goal scorer today, number 10. Being hounded. Intercepted. Referee calls the foul. Bomber's possession. Patriani going long. Looks like Darren Mitchell. And he's called for the tackle from behind. Free kick now goes to Barracudas. Two minutes, 24 seconds remaining.
Ariago. Patriani hounding. It looks like the referee is not allowing that, that play to stand as they go long. Barracudas. Chavez is now under attack. And good defending in the end. Ball against the side. Here comes the Bombers. Barracudas with their tail in the air now. Two consecutive goals. Now the team in blue is looking for a third consecutive one. Bazalova? No, it's not. Chavez out of his goal. He go player goes down. No penalty called. Goldborn kicks it long. And the bicycle kick goes out of play. Darren Mitchell marches over to the referee to complain. Headed back into the goal, and there was the bicycle kick way over the bar. Vargas using that big body of his. The captain, Rosales, given away. Rosales retrieves now. Excellent play by the captain. Ball back into the middle. Can the Barracudas get a third in, in succession? Near post, the follow-up by Rosales over the bar. He had it open, the captain, and he missed a clear opportunity to give them a 4-3 lead. And he kicked it wide, Rosales. Ariago going long. And into the hands of Chavez. Gets past one, looking for some support. Lima's there. He has a shot, goes over the post. And it's going to be Ariago ball, which means Barracuda possession. Ariago goes out to the right. Nine seconds remaining. Can the Barracudas get a shot off before the end of the first quarter? Goes short, and that is it. The horn is blown. At the end of the first quarter, we are deadlocked. The home team, RGV Barracudas 3, Amarillo Bombers 3, MASL League 2 Soccer on Vider Sports. My name is Ryan Davis, and we have another thriller in Brownsville, Texas. Vargas opening the score for the Bombers with a thumping volley. As Amarillo Bombers took the first, the opening lead, trying to rectify that loss, that 13-4 loss last night. Ariago gets the second goal to bring it to 1-1. Goalkeeper with a fantastic goal. And then it was Tolio, Lima, Tolio Molina sorry, getting the second to break it 2-1. Bombers and the end of the first quarter as we have Molina again and Patriani makes it 3-1. As the Bombers really took charge in the opening minutes. As Patriani scored last night and then here comes the Barracudas. Two goals unanswered. That's to bring it to 
So we are back now as we're about to kick off the second quarter. Game deadlocked at three. Amarillo Bombers in white, going from right to left. RGV Barracudas just switch sides and are going from left to right. Here's the Bombers now. Number 21. That is Martinez. No, no, I'm, I'm Mar sorry, not Martinez. It's Oteze. Almost playing it short now. Oteze has some room. Looks to cut inside on that right hand side. Lays it across. Bombers pick up their defensive markers. Sitting tight in their own half. Here comes Chavez joining the attack. Oteze, tall defender, number 21, Chavez. He's going to try to get a goal himself. Chavez with his shot, good block. Oteze now has to clear it. Good ball and a lovely header. A goal by the Bombers. Patriani scores his second goal in this game, his third in two. Vitor Patriani, that makes it 12 goals for this youngster in number 10. In four games played, what a goal that was. Ball comes across the one-time pass, and Patriani, look at this, the one-time cross, Patriani with the header, no chance for Diago. And the Bombers take the lead again, four goals to three. Barracudas have come from behind on two separate occasions, and now they're back again behind on a third occasion. Ariago, they keep trying to climb this mountain, the Barracudas, but the Bombers have been resilient in trying to keep them down. Ariago, it's Rodriguez. Taking their time, Bombers up four goes to three, being cautious. Bombers in white, Barracudas in blue. Rodriguez. Scramble in the box, and Chavez gets a hold of it. Was very instrumental in that fourth goal, Chavez. Rodriguez, ball given away. Across the goal, and Barracudas retrieve. Left-footed drive. Rodriguez now. Ariago, we know he can hit it, and he does. Great strike by Ariago. Goldborn, trying to get past his man. Not a good place to dribble. Rodriguez now. Ariago, can't give it away there, and he doesn't. Intercepted now. Goldborn hounded, had no chance to turn. Rodriguez beats his man smartly, lays it off. Beautiful pass. There's a chance now. Oh, Rodriguez lays it back. His shot top of the box. No, nope, giving up. This is Martinez. Ariago, Barracuda's swarming the Bombers right now. Rodriguez lays it back to Ariago. Bombers being very patient defensively. And the Barracuda's being patient offensively. Ariago, Rodriguez. Martinez, left-footed drive, across the goal it goes. But here comes the Bombers. Machado lays it back and asks for some time. Mitchell, trying to find Machado again and couldn't do it. Barracuda's possession. Ball played inside now. Jimenez, hounded. Beautiful pass inside. 
great fluency to this Barracuda game. Ariago. They all retreat. Has another shot. Ariago. Good save by Chavez. Ariago seems to have the game at his feet. The goalkeeper plays it short this time. The turn. Goes out wide to the left. Great defensive discipline by the Bombers. But a lovely one too by Ariago. Here comes Barracuda. And the ball goes out of play and immediately the Barracudas make some substitutions. As we see Rosales, the captain, comes back in. Ball cleared away and it's going to be on the line, I believe, for the Barracudas in a dangerous spot. Yep, right on top of the box now. Good opportunity for the home team. It's Rosales, the captain, who stands behind this ball. Chavez has his wall in front of him. Here's Rosales. Would he try a shot? Would he pass it? Walks away, and it's looked like there's a timeout called. Maybe to just ice Rosales. Give him some second thoughts. So, with 10 minutes to go in the second quarter, the, the away team, Aram Amarillo Bombers, have a 4-3 lead against the home team, RGV Barracudas. My name is Ryan Davis, and you are watching MASL League 2 Soccer. That is Major Arena Soccer League 2 on Vida Sports. We'll be back shortly for the free kick. on top of the box it is Rosales he dummies it and the left footed drive just over Chavez's goal it was a great strike by Jose Martinez the left footer for the Barracudas just a little too high Patriani lays it back Chavez now Well played off the wall dangerously. Bombers now. Patriani the shot. And it's Molina. And good save in the end by Ariago. Ball played long. Beautiful ball. Good control. The shot. Easy one for Chavez. And good defending in the end. The shot came in from Castarón. Castrajón. Lovely play. Dispossessed by Rosales. He has a bit of a counter-attack now. Waiting for some support. Finds it. The shot. And the ricochet. Oh, and the save by Chavez. Excellent save by the goalkeeper. It was Segura with the shot. Chavez with the save. And here's Ariago. Chav Ariago out of his goal, and the shot from far out was way off. And Barracuda retrieves possession. No call from the referee. Excellent pressure by the Bombers. And they win possession here. 
Oh, and the ball goes across the goal, and that's a definite foul. It was Lima, number 23, seems to be coming with the slide tackle. Here's Lima, yep, goes to the ground. Easy call for the referee. And Lima gives the player his apologies. And Rosales and Lima having a discussion right now. Lima leaves the field, and number 11, Darren Mitchell, comes in. As we see, number 15, David Toriso, Teriso, on the near part of your screen for the Bombers. Segura. Very physical once the ball gets against the wall. And the referee allows as much as he could, but then blows the foul as soon as the contact becomes excessive. Good call by the referee. Trying to keep soccer as the first priority and not so much the physicality. And it's going to be a free kick, I believe, for the Bombers. You will see here now, Lima went to the ground. And it's going to be Barracuda ball. Sorry, it's Vargas who went down. He can't believe the call. He's asking the referee, number 22. Rosales plays it quick. Intercepted. Good job, number 15. There's Teriso. Almost intercepting. So Vargas and Teriso up top for the Bombers. Ball goes long. And there's a bit of wild play by the forward for the Barracudas. Number 21, Oteze. Did a great job bodying off the defender. And the defender just threw himself at number 21. Easy call for the referee. So it's going to be a timeout, and it will be Barracuda's ball when we come back. And Maria Bombers by four goals to three in this second quarter. As we see Patriani, who has now 12 goals in four games. He had nine goals coming in and has scored three so far in a game and a half. Here's one of the goals for the Barracuda's. Excellent finish. No chance for Chavez. As that was the second goal for the Barracudas. Cortez giving the high five. And look at the beautiful play by Garcia setting up that third goal for the Barracudas. That was the tying goal at 3 3. This was all in the first quarter. And then the beginning of the second, lovely goal by Patriani. They had a, his fourth, like we said, sorry, his third goal in two games. And his 12th. In four. <laughs> So we come back from the timeout. It's going to be Bomber's ball. Up the line it goes. Great, great shielding and a left-footed drive. Good save by Ariago. That was Vargas who scored the opening goal in this game. Is Lima. Heavy touch. Intercepted in the end. Ariago goes long. Great control. Here comes the Bombers. The back heel is there. Looking for Seguro. Plays it back now. Martinez. The left footed drive. Good save by Chavez. Pulls on to it. Martinez with a thunderous shot. 
Good save by Chavez, but here comes the Bombers now. Vargas. I mentioned Vargas got the opening goal in this game, but coming into this weekend's matchups, this doubleheader against RGV, he played three games and had five goals coming into this weekend's matchup. Number 22, Vargas. He scored a goal already this evening. Here's Conrad Goldborn, who's been one of the stars this season for the Bombers. Lima. And here comes the Barracudas with a counter-attack. Doesn't see the player on the far side, which allows the Bombers to get back and defend. Oh, beautiful play. Looks like it was Otese, but he was dispossessed in the end. Rosales. And number four checks in. He is for the Bombers, and the ball goes out of play. Bombers make some substitutions. So with five minutes and 25 seconds remaining, ball out of play. It is Amarillo Bombers trying to avenge their loss from last night to the RGV Barracudas. They lead this game by four goals to three. Rosales. It's going to be Barracuda ball. The drive across the goal. Ariago. Lead all the way across smartly. Rosales, the captain, goes up the line. Castaron sends it back to Rosales, left foot to drive, and here comes Chavez now. Going out wide to Lima. Lima hounded right now. And dispossessed, and here comes Rosales. Goes out wide. Back across the goal, and that's it, 4-4. Four, four. Great finish in the end. It was started by the captain Rosales, and he finishes, he finishes the goal with his own feet. Lovely interchange. And Gustavo Rosales, the captain, started the move and finished it to tie this game up at four. Just shows what this Barracuda team can do. RGV Barracudas tie this game up at four. Here comes Rosales starting the move. Goes out wide, comes back across, and an easy finish in the end by the skipper. So once again, for the third time in a row, RGV Barracudas tie this game up. Chavez kicks it long. Barracudas now with momentum. They're going to have possession and their tails in the air. Can they get a second consecutive goal? Ariago. Going long. Ariago again. Has time. Here comes the pressure now. Try to find the guy at the back post. Couldn't find him. There's Darren Mitchell. Goes out wide. It's Teriso. Teriso, rather. Back heel. Oh, off the post and I finished there. What a move. Players are coming off the bench. And in the end, a lovely finish to give this team, the Bombers, a 5-4 lead, which could very well be the goal of the game so far. Beautiful move. And the Bombers take the lead yet again. Every time Barracudas get back in the game, the Bombers have another trick up their sleeve. Look at the finish by the number 24, Kevin Machado. So Amarillo Bombers 5, 
Barracuda's four. Only a couple of minutes left in this second quarter. Adiago goes long. Off the post. Just on top of the bar, rather. Barracuda's again. Pressuring. The shot comes in. Patriani screens the ball. And now a little bit of frustration. The Barracudas. Referee calls for the free kick. It's going to be Rich Mears who had an own goal already in this game. He kicks the free kick now. Goes long. Headed out by Ariago. And looks like substitutions uh, may take place. As Mears is going to go across again and try to Take this dead ball. Nope, ball on top of the box. And guess who it is? The main man himself, Vitor Patriani. Who cannot seem to miss at the moment. Patriani drives it into the wall. Rosales, heroic as ever. Rosales hounding. Chavez, the little chip. Headed back, and here comes Barracuda's heavy, heavy tackle on the far side. Rosales comes in to help out, and he does. Wins it back. Beautiful pass from Rosales. The shot, sorry, the pass comes in. And the goal, is it a goal? Off the line and into the hands of Chavez. Somehow the Bombers survive. Conrad Bouillon, Bourbon, holding everyone off so far. Just about two minutes remaining in this second quarter. Rosales. Ariago. Goes across. Number 23, Rodriguez. Pressured. Finds an outlet. Rodriguez again. This time he finds Martinez. Jose Martinez. That's such a great left foot. Ariago. Martinez. Beats one. Tries to beat two. No foul call by the referee. Chance now. Martinez with the shot. And safely into the safe hands of Chavez. And looks like he's going to call a timeout. Maintain this lead. One minute remaining in this second quarter. Amaria Bombers call a timeout. Martinez with the shot. Saved by Chavez. So we take the time out with the Bombers leading by five goals to four. We'll be back in a minute. And 
now with just a minute remaining in this first half, second quarter, the visitors hold a 5-4 lead as Chavez goes long. Patriani turns, no free kick called. Candy Barracudas get an equalizer yet again. Martinez, lovely touch. Ariago. Ariago, a left footed drive. And kicked out of play, and it's going to be Bomber's possession. Thirty-five seconds remaining. Bombers in white. Five goes to four. Martinez retrieves the number thirteen. Cultured left foot. Rosales, captain and goal scorer. Long pass. Headed out. And it's going to be Vargas who opened the scoring. Number twenty-two is going to be called for the foul. Twelve seconds remaining. Is Vargas being a good center forward, excellent defending, hounding the defender. 14 seconds remaining. Rosales plays short to the keeper. Rosales again. And they get a shot off. Goalkeeper now. He's going to have a strike. And yes, he does. Good strike. It bounced awkwardly in front of Chavez. Another chance. Martinez against the wall. And that's it. That will be the end of the second quarter, the end of the first half. And it looks like the referee is going to blow the whistle before time expired. And let's see what he calls here. Maybe a free kick before we leave. The player is down. Looks like it's going to be... It's not Vargas. It is... It's, it's Patriani. Yep, the number 10 goes down. Immediately ask for assistance. But well, he's up now. And the referee is awarded a free kick. Top of the box. Last time this happened, Rosales dummied it. And Martinez, the left footer, had the strike. Let's see if Rosales, the right footer, dummies it again or takes the free kick this time. It'll be the last kick of the half. And what an opportunity for the Barracudas to equalize yet again. Rosales behind it, sets the ball. Martinez waiting in the wings. And the keeper buries it. What a strike. Goalkeeper comes on. Looks like his victim is Luis Ledesma with a left-footed strike to tie this thing up at 5-5. In the last kick of the half, referee blows it off. Luis Ledesma ties this game up 5-5, five five, going into the half. As the Barracudas come back from yet again. And looks like the referee is going to allow this one to kick off with just a second remaining. Goalkeeper comes in and just smashes it past the wall. No chance for Chavez. Luis Ledesma gets on the scoring sheet. So it's going to be Vargas to kick this one off. And that should do it for the half. Referees checking on the clock, check, check, checking on the watch to decide. And yes, they have. So at the end of the first half, RGVB Barracudas 5, Amarillo Bombers 5, you are watching MASL Soccer 2, League 2, on Vida Sports, on Facebook. My name is Ryan Davis. We'll be back for the first half highlights and the second half in only a few minutes. Thank you.
Jason. Thank you.
this fantastic game between Amarillo Bombers and RGV Barracudas. Game deadlocked at 5-5 at the beginning of the second half. It's been the Amarillo Bombers really instigating things so far. They have taken the lead throughout the game. And the Barracudas have come back every time. But the Bombers are the only ones to have led so far in this game. So we have the Barracudas in blue going from right to left. And we have the, bom the Bombers in white going from left to right. Someone we're looking forward to in this second half is Bombers' Conrad Bourbon. He came into this game playing three games and had five goals, five assists at the beginning of yesterday. And now we're expecting his impact. Here's Rosales, the captain. And he's going to be called for a foul, look like. Now it's going to be a foul on the Bombers, on the captain. So if you didn't see the first half, Bombers took the lead, but in the last kick of the second half, the Barracudas equalized at 5 5. Here's Martinez, low drive, cross the goal. Here's Bombers now trying to get out of their own defensive third. A lot of contact against the wall. Bombers still in possession. A lot of pressure. Referee does not call for the foul. Cleared off the line and somehow the ball stays out of the goal. And the Bombers breathe again. Martinez back across the goal again. The left footer. And the ball goes out of play and it's going to be referee calls for the free kick. Here it is again. Rosales again being hacked to the ground. Referee calls for the free kick. No yellow card given. And it's going to be a free kick now for the Barracudas. Just see number 23, Rodriguez, checking into the game. And a yellow card. So it looks like Ote. Cross to the referee. Let's see what happens here. Maybe Oteze is being put into the penalty box. We will find out. Yes, he is. So taken off of his bench, being put into the penalty box. He cannot check in until his two-minute penalty is finished. As we see number 10, Vitor Patriani checking in for the Bombers. Ball played all the way back. Adriago chipped against the wall. Rodriguez is Martinez, number 13. Ariago, would he line one up? He does. It's low. Well blocked in the end. And Mitchell is coming off the field. And in comes number 21. Juan Martinez. I believe Juan Martinez put on the goalkeeper's shirt at the end of the sec first half and scored that equalizer in the last kick of the first half. So Martinez comes back on. Adiago, goalkeeper. Fantastic distributor and shot taker. Long ball in, headed out. And here comes the Bombers now. Counter-attack. One-on-one. -on -one. Great save by Ariago. The left foot. It was Teriso, the number 15, with the breakaway. And Ariago with a fantastic reflex save. Here's the counter-attack. Teriso tries to go near post. Foot save by the goalkeeper. And keeps this game at 5-5. Here comes the Barracudas. Going long. 
Brought down now, waiting for some support. Farmers win possession. Beats one, has options. Given away. And here comes the Barracudas now. Ball across the goal. Good interception. And it's Teriso again. Finding Vargas. Tries to beat one, but well defended in the end. Looking for a free kick, but none given. Oh, well done. Beautiful stop start and a change of direction. Left footer, and it's, it's in the back of the net. And it's Martinez who scored in a goalkeeper's outfit at the end of the first half. Gets the first goal in the second. Number 21, Juan Martinez. And the Barracudas, for the first time tonight, take the lead. Look at the bit of skill by the left footer, though. And Martinez with a bit of a back heel, completely deceiving Chavez. And the Bar Barracudas take the lead. Ivan Martinez gets his second goal of the night. Just so clinical. In and around goal, Martinez opened the scoring last night in their emphatic win. Got a goal in the goalkeeper's shirt at the end of the first half tonight and just got the opening goal of the second half. Juan Martinez. And there's a bit of a rugby scrum against the wall. Referee not looking for the foul. A lot of contact. Finally, the referee steps in. Patriani's on the ground. It's, it's just as soon as Patriani hits the ground, the blue shirts swarm. And at that point, the referee can just decide when he wants to call the foul. Chavez back to Patriani. Patriani inside, a bit of deception. Looking for Machado. Ball back in, lovely ball back in. Patriani. Here's the number 20, in and out, has a shot, could tackle. And looks like there's a player down for the Barracudas, and it's going to be a free kick for the Barracudas. So 11 minutes to go in the second half. 6-5 Barracudas, but here comes the Bombers. They're coming from behind for the first time tonight. Mitchell back on the field. And here's the very skillful Garcia. No, Seguro. Seguro, rather. Darren Mitchell. Mitchell, beautiful ball. Great defending in the end by Barracudas. Great recovery. Machado playing it short, intercepted. Played back. That was Martinez back to Ariago. Back to Martinez. Arcuda's really finding their stride now. Ariago clips it inside, headed out. Can it be a counter-attack? Vargas, we know he can sc score. Tries to use the wall, but well defended. Very physical, and the referee has seen enough. It was Victor Jimenez closing in on Vargas. And the referee saw enough, and it's now going to be a free kick for the Bombers in a dangerous position. David Teriso is going to kick this free kick. Top of the box. Good volley by Lima. Molina, rather. Barracuda is trying to get it out. 
And they do. They have a counter-attack. Here comes the Barracudas again. Now they have support. They find it. Referee, no call. Bombers the other way now. Lovely skill. Slight tackle. Out by Mitchell. Can't turn. No call by the referee. Bombers possession. Balls in. Just wide of Ariago's goal. And it's going to be a substitution taking place as Teriso, the number 15, comes off the field. No, he stays on, but substitutions nonetheless. It's going to be a free kick now for the Bombers. Right on top of the box. Looks like it's going to be Chavez behind this one. Or oh, Vargas, rather, the goal scorer. Vargas, let's see what he can do. Plays it, tries to get it to the man standing by the post. Couldn't get it to him. And here comes Barracudas now. There's a man up. Could he find him? It was Rosales. Could not find the runner. And here comes the shot. Misses. Barracudas now. And it's Rosales taking his time, trying to take the air out of the situation. But here comes the Bombers. Look at the white shirts, four white shirts. And they get it up, and they do. And now they have a counterattack. And here comes the Barracudas. Heavy tackle by Vargas. Good tackle, too. Teriso. Substitutions taking place. Ariago. Oh, against the keeper's wall, gets the rebound. That was Zalagas, the number four. And Ariago has to retreat. He's out of his goal. Azalova, Ariago, Ariago goes long, uses the wall kindly, and that did not hit the wall, but a spectator, great job by the referee, he caught it, and that's going to be Bomber's possession, Conrad Goodborn comes out, and in comes in, number 24, Kevin Machado, who's going to take this free kick. Uteze comes back to the bench out of the penalty box. I believe it was a five-minute penalty time. And he finally comes back onto the bench. Oh, beautiful. He gets past two. Here's Martinez. Garcia. Back to Martinez. Can it be across the goal? Cleared out by Vargas. Patriani, no time. Bombers now. Patriani on the far side. Can he get past one? He does. Great recovery by the Barracudas. Ball across the goal and Ariago retrieves. Early, early release. Martinez with that great left foot. Here's Garcia, and the referee does not allow the play on. Free kick called for that first tackle on Martinez. Patriani comes off. In comes back Vargas, the number 22. Mitchell comes back on. Referee calls that free kick for the first foul on Martinez. And a yellow card being brandished over to the sidelines. 
And now there's a lot of substitutions being taken place for the Barracudas. Number 15, Bazalova pushes up. Castrajon comes on in number eight. Rosales comes back on, the captain. And looks like the referees are having a discussion on some disciplinary measures being taken place. Look at that tackle by number 23. And there's another follow-up. That number 23 being Laka Lima. So let's see if someone has been put into the penalty area, penalty box. We see Lima. He's over there right now pleading his case. He was the one that brought down Martinez. And looks like he's going to enter the penalty box. So let's see how long. I'm not sure. Maybe the Bombers may be down to four outside players, outfield players, because Lima was definitely on the field. Now being put into the penalty box. So it's going to be a free kick no matter what. A foul on Martinez, Jose Martinez. And the captain, Rosales, is going to try to take this free kick. The foul was caused by Lima, number 23. And now he's in the penalty box. And now the Bombers are down a player, four outfield players and the keeper. So it's five versus six. Six Barracudas, five Bombers as Lima is on in the penalty box for two minutes. And let's see if the Barracudas can penalize and take a larger lead. Here's Garcia. Takes a shot. The follow-up saved by Chavez. And looks like it's going to be a handball. That was not Garcia. That was Castrajon, the number eight. It is again a handball right there. And it's going to be a free kick for the Bombers. So we're going to try to hold as much possession as they could. But ball given away already. The act, no, there isn't. Martinez, the goal scorer. And Martinez, a shot. Another shot by Rosales across the goal. Somehow it stays out. Barracuda pressing. Martinez calling for it on this left hand side. Does he get it? No, he does not. The shot again, again, the Bombers hold off. And now let's see if Lima comes out of the penalty box. Again, the Bombers down a player because of Lima being in the penalty box. But let's see if his time has expired. Bombers down four players. RGV, RGV Barracudas have five outfield players at the moment. So it's a power play. Shot by Rosales. Another shot, this time by Martinez. And still, the Barracudas. Can the Bombers get a counter-attack? No, they don't. Castrajon has the shot against the post and cleared away in the end by Machado. And here's a counter-attack for the Bombers. Can they equalize the save? Ariago, Mitchell now. And Adiago has it in his safe hands. Score stays at 6-5, Barracudas. Mitchell. Garcia is going to be called. Garcia has been niggling all day, all game long. And finally, the referees call a free kick. And looks like the referee is going to call their own timeout. Just to get things organized. Here's Mitchell. And a foul by Garcia. So a free kick for the Bombers. When we return, timeout taken 
65 Barracudas. We are in the Barracudas FC Sports Complex in Brownsville, ten Texas. You are watching MASL League Two Soccer on Vitor Sports. My name is Ryan Davis. And as we see the back heel goal by Juan Martinez to give the Barracudas a 6-5 league, the only goal so far in this quarter, in the second half, by Juan Martinez. As you see, Mitchell and the save by Ariago, rather, the defender, rather. Castrajon, the handball. As the Barracudas peppered the goal of Amari Bombers. But to no avail, and the Bombers remain only a goal down as we return from this timeout. So we return from the timeout. RGV Barracudas, the home team in blue, up six goals to five. Amarillo Bombers played down a man with Lima being in the penalty box. And we're going to see now if they're back to full strength. Here's Chavez. Yes, and I believe the Bombers, who did not concede when being down a man, and now back to full strength. Five out field players. Here's Vargas. Back across the goal. Here comes the Bombers. The little dink and it's in. What a goal by the Bombers to tie this game up. A fantastic, crafty bit of creative play in the last third. And a lovely header to tie this game up. Julio Molina, who scored the second goal, has now scored the sixth for the Bombers. He scored the go-ahead goal in the first half and has now scored the equalizer in the second. Lovely little dink. And look how he elevated. No chance for Adiago. And the Bombers bravely come back to tie this game up at six. And now the Barracudas at home to start over again. So three minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the third quarter. RGV Barracudas six. Amoria Bombers, six. Ariago. What a beautiful little chip and an excellent, brave header by Molina. Teriso plays it all the way back. Ariago. Teriso again. Sorry, not Teriso. That is Bazalova. Rodriguez to Ariago. Ariago with the shot. Oh, what a great strike. Chavez with a good save. And it's going to be Barracuda's ball. Another fantastic strike by Ariago, who already has a goal in this game. Strong punch by Chavez. And Barracuda ball now. Driven in. Ariago clips it back in, heads it back. Back into the box. Could he get a shot off? No, he can't. And here comes the Bombers with a counter-attack. Teriso looks like he's going to win a free kick. Here it is again, the first bump, and then the second tackle right there by Seguro. Segura, rather.
a child who plays it across the field. And Barracuda have a bit of a counter-attack here. Couldn't find the overlapping Rosales. Teddy so now. Chavez. Beautiful ball. Given away now. Here comes the Barracudas. Excellent tackle. Here's Mitchell. Lovely fake. Mitchell beats two. Lays it off. Looks like it's Goodborn and into on the pitch as number eight for the Bombers. Goodborn has not impacted the game today. Rosales now, he's impacted the game. This captain, what a leader he is for this Barracuda's team. Is Zaragas. Mitchell now, with time. Tries to beat one and the slide tackle comes in. No call by the referee. Barracuda's possession. Rosales clips it in. Excellent defensive shape by the Bombers. Goulborn gives it away in a dangerous spot. Excellent save by Chavez. Goulborn put his keeper out to dry there. And Chavez came up with a great save. Still not out of the woods yet. Goulborn clears it away. And a great clearance. Patriani. Barracudas recover. Not only they recover, but they get the ball back. Here they come again. Castellon. Juan Martinez lays it back. Rosales. Given away. Patriani. Free kick. Must be free kick for the Bombers. And it is. Castellon was asking the question, but an easy call for the referee. Beautiful skill by Patriani. Gets the contact. Goes over. Bombers ball. This game deadlock at six. 23 seconds remaining in this third quarter. Down in the corner it goes. Chavez. Cross the goal, and there it is. They used the wall beautifully. It was Juan Martinez setting up Castrajon with an easy tap in just because of the cleverness of number 21. But give Castrajon credit. He showed up at the right place at the right time. And the Barracudas take the lead again, 7-6, on the last kick of the third quarter. Castro Horn following up. Look at this. Enzo Martinez uses the wall. Castro Horn number eight follows up. And they score in the last kick of the first half. And now they score in the last kick of the third quarter. Courtesy that man, Enzo Martinez. So the end of three quarters, RGV Barracuda seven, Amarillo Bombers six. We'll be back for the fourth and last quarter in minutes. You are watching MESL League Two Soccer on Vida Sports. My name is Ryan Davis. See you in a couple of minutes for the fourth quarter.
Welcome back for the fourth quarter. We're in RGV Barracuda Sports Complex in Brownville, Texas. You're watching MESL2 League 2 Soccer on Vita Sports. My name is Ryan Davis, and we have an absolute thriller here in the heartland of Texas as the home team, RGV Barracudas, finally take the lead again. 7-6, 15 minutes to go in the fourth quarter, taking on Amarillo Bombers, who really instigated things in the first half. It was Vargas opening the scoring. And in the second half, really, it was the Barracudas that took over. We see a fantastic goal equalizer by Molino, Molina, rather, in number 17. And then we see just at the end of the third quarter, the Barracudas finally take back that lead. But it's gone end to end so far. As we see Martinez in the last kick of the game use the wall. And there he was, Castrajon, to give them six lead in the last kick of the third quarter. And this last 15 minutes is going to decide as RGV, after winning the game last night, by 15 game goals to four. And Mario Bomber is desperate to come back into the fray and win this game tonight to keep them in the runnings in the Midwest. So to kick us off in the fourth quarter, it's going to be Vitor Patriani, who has two goals already tonight. He already scored last night. And coming into this weekend's games, he had nine goals in number 10 for the Bombers, which brings his tally right now to 12. So he's going to kick us off in this fourth quarter as the Bombers try to come back now from a 6-7 deficit. Again, my name is Ryan Davis. You are watching MASL League 2 coverage on Vita Sports and on Facebook. Thank you for joining us, wherever you are. RGV Barracudas came down from three goals to one. Now find themselves leading 7-6, going into the last 15 minutes of this game. Ball chipped over the top. And it's going to be a kick-in for RGV Barracudas. Played short. And the ball ricochets, and it's going to be the home team's possession. All played in now. Up the line it goes. And it looks like Darren Mitchell. No. It's Otese back on the field. He kicks it up the line. But Barracudas get possession in a dangerous area. And the referee doesn't like what he sees. Free kick now for the Barracudas. Holding off his man. <laughs> Look at the 
just pulled to the ground. Free, free kick now, Barracudas. And here comes Ariago, playing it short. Bombers seem a lot more desperate in the early seconds of this fourth quarter. Long throw by Chavez. Vargas, much like the opening goal of this game, it was Chavez to Vargas. Oteze. Here's Vargas again, and it's going to be a free kick. Referee does not like the physical contact. Patriani probing. Vargas down in the corner. Will he use the wall? Still Vargas. Vargas again. And great defending in the end. Looks like it was Martinez. Segura turns out of trouble beautifully. Great interception. Here comes the Bombers now. Oh, beautiful ball. Patriani, no, he couldn't get to it. It was Lima with the interception. Here's Patriani now. Vargas, will he have a shot? Close down quickly. Ball goes across the goal. Lima beats one. Across the goal again. Up the line it goes, and it's going to be, looks like Bombers possession as we have some substitutions. Martinez comes off. We see Victor Jimenez come on. There it is again. Ball cleared away. Easy call for the referee. It's going to be Bombers ball. White shirts now in Barracuda territory. Free kick, top of the box. It'll be Darren Mitchell, the number 11. Cleared, misses, Barracuda, counter-attack. Segura holds up, waits for options, finds it. That was Castrojon, rather, not Segura. And it's going to be a ball on top of the box now. As soon as that ball goes out to the side, the play restarts on the top of the box. And now... In a crucial area, we have Rosales, the captain, who's taken two of the three of these free kicks. But we also have Martinez, the number 13, who's a left footer. So not sure. Chavez is not sure if it's going to be the righty of Rosales, the captain. Rosales walks away, and here comes Castrajon. Here comes Martinez, the shot, and that's in. Beautiful strike. Beautiful execution. And the Barracudas take an 8-6 lead. The deadly foot of Martinez. The defender, Jose Martinez, gets his third goal of this game. The Barracudas take an 8-6 lead. Castrojon threatened and then laid it off. And here comes that left foot. Thunder, lightning, 8-6. Chavez tries to get one right back into the box. Martinez, lovely left foot, tries to find the runner out on the left, Castrajon. And referee calls for the free kick. It was Rosales, the captain. No yellow card given. It was number 15, Teriso. Using the hands on Rosales. Ariago. Castrojon switches play beautifully. Martinez. Up the line it goes. And it's going to be a Maria Bomber's possession. They have a tall hill to climb, being down two goals. But not only that, the momentum has switched. 
since the end of the second half, sorry, the first half. Here comes the Bombers now, and Adiago gets it safely into his hands. But momentum has switched for the better half of the second half. And it's been more Barracudas than Bombers, hence the reason 8-6 to the home team. Here's the tall number three, Sinceros, Cisneros rather. Switch of the play, Rosales, back heel, that's Lahon. Intercepted, here comes the Bombers. But the Barracudas are so disciplined right now. Martinez. The shot, and it's another one. And that could be it. Great strike. Number 23, Alejandro Rodriguez. Gives the Barracudas a 9-6 lead. And a timeout being called, quite rightly. Great strike. The ball laid back for the number 23. And he made no mistake. Here it is. Look at the strike. Great technique. No chance for Chavez. And Rodriguez gets the ninth goal as the Barracudas take a 9-6 lead. We'll be back. Nope. We are back already. It's going to be the Bombers to kick off with Patriani. Vargas is on the pitch now. So too Machado. Here comes Chavez. Vargas. Machado. Vargas again. And this one luckily did not end up in the parking lot. Some very tall nets here at RGV Sports Complex to save that ball. Slow build up by Barracudas as the Bombers retreat back into their own half. Adiago goes long. Oh, beautiful ball. Here comes the Bombers now. Oh, great shot with the left foot by Patriani. Over the bar it goes. Vargas wins the header. Bombers retain possession. Machado goes out wide. Lovely fake. The left-footed shot, and that's one back. 9-7. It's Rich Mears. He gets his goal. Lovely fake with the left foot and made no mistake with the second attempt. Gets this game back to 9-7 and a little bit of moment, momentum is Rich Herrera. Look at the fake and look at the thunderous strike. Ariago gets his hand to it, but Herrera gets his goal. 9-7, the score. Ball back in play now. Barracudas. Dispossessed. Little Castro Horn, skillful, dispossessed though. Here comes the Barracudas. He gets out of trouble beautifully. Oh, no call from the referee. Ball played out wide. And here comes the Bombers now. Can they get another goal to get them back in the discussion? Is this Rosales? Cuts inside. Great read. By Oteze, number 21. Ball goes out of play. Substitutions taking place. You are watching MASL League Two Soccer on Vita Sports on Facebook. And the deadly left foot of Martinez 
is going to get the ball on top of the box. And Chavez, you can hear his knees knocking from a state away. Martinez, the shot. Dispossessed. Here comes the Bombers. Real chance. Mitchell. Mitchell! And it's 98. Can you believe it? The Bombers are not giving up. And now they're only one goal away from tying this game up. They counter-attacked with numbers and Darren Mitchell made no mistake and put it through the legs of Arriago. Lovely into the path of Mitchell and look at the finish to bring it to 9-8. Do not adjust your sets. The Barracudas were up 9-6 only minutes ago and now the Bombers have scored two in a row. Seven and a half minutes to go. Some substitutions taking place and looks like there's going to be a timeout. So in the RGV Sports Complex, you are watching MASL League 2 Soccer on Vita Sports and on Facebook. My name is Ryan Davis, RGV Barracudas 9, I'm a Rio Bombers 8. We'll be back right after the timeout. So we are back in the RGV Sports Complex in Brownville, Texas. And this game has been a seesaw battle with the Barracudas coming from all the way back and clawing their way back against the Bombers. And now we have the Bombers on the other end coming back on the Barracudas as they were 9-6 down with only minutes to go. And now the Bombers have scored two in a row to bring it to 9-8. Here comes the Barracudas now, trying again to put this game away. Beautiful back heel, well read by Oteze, the defender. Barracudas retrieve. This is Zarazagas. Ariago looking for options. Beautiful ball. As we can see the Bombers in white with a more spring in their step after those two goals to bring them back in this game. Zarazagas, lovely ball, switching the play. Waiting for the Bombers to react. Ariago. Zarazagas uses the wall beautifully. A lovely finish. Expert play by Zara Zagas and the rebound gobbled up by Oscar Garcia, the number 11. And that's how the Barracudas play. Just when you think you're back in the game, this is Antonio Segura rather, not Garcia. But look at how Zara Zagas uses the ball, puts it into the danger spot, and the one-time finish by Segura. Antonio Segura gets his goal, and it's now 10-8, Barracudas, and we have a timeout as the Bombers try to find a way to get back in this game against the clinical Barracudas. We'll be back shortly.
And it was a lovely finish by Segura, Oscar, sorry, yep, Segura, to get that 10th goal. As we have a 10 8 lead by RGV Barracudas over the Amarillo Bombers. Six minutes to go, and just when you thought the Bombers would be back, a fantastic bit of play by Zalazagas on the right hand side, and a lovely finish to make it 10 8 for the home team. Adiago going long. Against the wall it goes. Now here comes Seguro again. Oh, this is Oscar Garcia. Intercepted. And here comes the Bombers. Lovely ball by Goulburn. Machado. Bombers trying to be patient, waiting for Chavez. Great ball by Chavez into the feet. And here comes the problem now. Interception and counterattack. Barracudas now. Garcia. Oh, and he, what a finish. No, it went across the goal. Didn't go in the back of the net. Barracudas retrieve possession. I thought for a second it went into the far post. But it hit the wall. Barracudas retrieve the ball. Bombers can't clear the ball up. Martinez, the dangerous left footer. Martinez against the wall again. Another shot. Barracuda's trying to put this game to rest. Bombers with a counterattack. There's Ariago, the fake. Plays it short, lovely. Cortez. Rosales trying to direct play. Garcia. Rosales, the back heel. There's Rosales, the skipper again. Always in control. Ariago. Lovely ball by Ariago. Uses the wall. Mitchell clears it out. Patriani, such great technique, Patriani. The number 10. Oh, beats his man, goes down. No call from the referee. And the other referee says, yes, that is a foul. So a free kick now for the Bombers. Here comes Patriani. The fan goes to his left, and Cortez was eaten up. So, Bombers, three and a half minutes to go. Can they get a goal here? The shot by Chavez 
punched out by Ariago. Keeper on keeper. That is not a crime. Barracuda's possession. Ariago uses the wall beautifully. Lovely pass by Rodriguez. Garcia, can he get the return? No, he doesn't. Castrajon on the left foot. Out it comes, Barracuda's retrieve. Ball on the far side now. And it's going to be possession for the Barracudas. Is that replay? Goes over the side of the wall. The home team gets possession and they use it wisely. Taking the legs out of the Bombers right now. Have them chasing on every possession. The left-footed shot by Rodriguez. Martinez, rather. Martinez again. Clips it inside. The other Martinez, Juan Martinez now. Against the wall it goes. Martinez goes down. No call by the referee. Patriani, he goes down. Here's the defender, Jose Martinez. Good interception by Mitchell. Chipped across the goal is Garcia. Beats his man beautifully. Across the goal it goes. Here comes the follow-up. And the Barracudas reset with Rodriguez. Ariago. And here comes the Bombers with a counter-attack now. A chance, a real chance across the goal and could not be finished. It was a great ball by Teriso. But the man at the last post could not finish it up. What a chance for the Bombers to make this game 10-9 in the last minute. 54 seconds to go. And the Barracudas are trying to see this out, holding on to possession here. The Bombers pushing forward. Lovely pass. Rodriguez, back across the goal, and Rodriguez straight into Chavez's midsection. The Bombers desperate to get another chance here. But Barracudas push them all the way back. Chavez goes long, headed out by Ariago. We're down to the last nine seconds, and the Barracudas are going to win this one. And here they are come with a counter-attack. Segura's there, saved by Chavez. Segura's still here. Can he get it? Segura against the first post. Chavez has it. And the time is officially finished. And they're going to see this one out. Here comes the Bombers, the shot. The follow-up. Shot again. And that is it. RGV Barracudas does the double against Amarillo Bar um, Bombers. They win the second game in succession. And they have now started this 2022 season with two games, two wins at home as the Barracudas beat the Bombers 10 goals to eight. And they take a two-win advantage to start this season. And the Bombers now go to a record of two wins, three losses, as they head back home next weekend to get back to their home front and try to find some winning ways. We started off the game with Vargas with a fantastic strike to give the Bombers the lead. What a finish it was by the big man, number 22.
as the Bombers really went on the front foot and pushed the Barracudas back. But then Adiago had different ideas. The goalkeeper equalized to bring this game back to 1-1. But the Bombers weren't finished yet. They lost the previous game the night before, and they wanted to create a statement, and Molina started and finished to go up 2-1 in number 17. Great finish by the visitors as they took a deserved 2-1 lead. And here come Molino again. He slipped it into Patriani. And they took a 3-1 advantage against the Barracudas. Molina the assist. Patriani with the finish. And here came Barracudas. The shot across the goal. And a lovely finish by Jose Martinez, the defender, to bring it within 3-2 as the Barracudas stayed in the game. And then here came Oscar Garcia off the wall, and it was an own goal by Herrera to bring this game tied to three. Rich Herrera with the own goal. And then it was a lovely finish by Patriani with the header. He gets his second goal of the evening. Four three bombers, all in the first half. Now here comes the Barracudas. Rosales started the move and look at the calm finish. Il Capitan to tie this game up at 4-4. Look at the celebration. The fans love it. The captain tying the game up at four. Now number 24, Kevin Machado marches in to give the Bombers a 5-4 lead still in the first half. Enzo, Mar sorry, Juan Martinez puts on the then, Barracudas off the wall. In comes number eight, Castrajon. It is now 7-6, Barracudas. And if you have not lost count, don't worry. We stayed in count, but Barracudas will take it over from there. The layoff, and in comes Martinez, the defender, gets his second goal, 8-6, Barracudas. And they start to take that lead, and they will not look back. Here they come. This time it was Rodriguez to make it 9-6. The defender gets the ninth goal and the Bombers stayed in the game. Lovely shake. Remember Herrera got that own goal, but he scores a beautiful individual goal to bring this to 9-7. And we have a great game on our hands. Rosales, dispossessed. Guess who it is? Mitchell, Darren Mitchell, 9-8. We're still going. And the Bombers think they're back in this game at 9-8. Momentum. But here comes the Barracudas on their home turf. Zara Zagas finishes it up. Lovely finish. This was Seguro. He gets his goal. It is now 10-8, and that will be the conclusion of tonight's game. Thank you for joining us. MESL League 2 on Vitor Sports. My name is Ryan Davis. Tune in next time. We'll see you again. RGV Barracudas 10, Amarillo Bombers. It was a pleasure. See you again on Facebook and Vitor Sports. Good night.